Welcome to our FB page at sa ating YouTube channel na parehong Solving Math with Luna Lynn. Now, dito na tayo sa yung last part sa previous nating video na ito yung sinagutan natin, yung pinaka-basic kung paano hanapin yung distance, yung mismong travel, yung time. How long does it take to travel yung time mismo? At kung paano hanapin yung speed. So, ito yung pinaka Pinaka basic, which is na-upload na natin kung paano ba ito sagutan. Now, ito ay actual na lumabas sa mismong civil service exam. Dati na talaga tong lumabas. Now, lagi ko nang sinasabi na never memorize the answers because that will never help you. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sagutan. Kasi... Kadalasan, meron at merong mga kahalintulad nito. Kung may maulit man, napapansin ko meron ding naulit, swerte na lang ang tawag dyan. Importante pa rin kabisaduhin kung paano natin ito sagutan. Para kung ano man ang ibigay sa mismong actual na exam, alam nyo kung paano ito sagutan. So anyway, let's read the problem. Maria's office is 1.5 kilometers away from her house. She leaves her house at 8.30 a.m. and walks at constant speed reaching her office at 9 a.m. Along her way to the office is a grocery store which is located one kilometer from her house. How many minutes would Maria spend walking from her house, house ito ko lang yung spelling, to the grocery store? So, ito yung mga choices. Now, let's do solution number one. Itong solution number one, ito yung sabihin na natin kahit hindi mo alam yung mismong formula nito, masasagutan mo to kung intindihin lang natin yung mismong given. Kung anong meron dito, kung ano naman yung tanong. Now, simplihan lang natin. Galing tayo sa bahay, in case lang ha, hindi natin alam yung mismong formula nito. Papunta tayo sa office. Okay. Yan ay nandito sa given na 1.5 kilometers. She leaves her house at 8.30 a.m. Tapos, darating siya sa office ng 9 a.m. Constant speed. So, dito pa lang, alam natin na it takes her 30 minutes lang. 30 minutes lang from her house to her office. Along her way to the office, merong grocery store na 1 kilometer, 1 kilometer from her house. Yung tanong, how many minutes would Maria spend walking from her house papunta doon sa grocery store? 1 kilometer lang yan. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin, since 1.5 kilometer yung nandyan, hatiin natin sa tatlo. Madali lang namang hatiin kasi 1.5, tag 500 meters. Gawin natin tag 500 meters. So, ang total sa 500, tatlong 500 meters, that is 1.5 kilometers. Now, since hinati natin yung distance sa tatlo, hatiin din natin sa tatlo itong Oras na 30 minutes. 30 divided by 3 and that is 10 minutes. So this is 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Ang total dyan ay 30 minutes. Now, pwede na nating masagot yung tanong. Ang tanong lang naman dito ay how many minutes would Mary spend walking from her house to the grocery store? Ang grocery daw ay 1 kilometer away 
sa bahay niya. So, itong 500, mayroon tayong dalawang 500 dyan. Ang total dito ay 1 kilometer. So, yung 1 kilometer, ano nakikita nyo? Meron niyang a total of 20 minutes. 500 meters plus 500 meters, that is 1 kilometer. 10 minutes plus 10 minutes and that is 20 minutes. Kaya ang sagot dito, letter C. Diba, mas maganda yung first solution natin kasi mas klaro siya. No need ang mag-memorize ng mga formula-formula na yan. Pero anyway, let's do solution number 2. Dito naman sa solution number 2, gagamit tayo ng mga formulas. Pero, pagdating sa mga rate or speed, no need na mag-memorize kasi nandyan lang yan sa mismong given. So, wala naman yan sa given, ma'am. Ganito. Di ba kapag sinabing speed, meron talaga yung sinasabing kilometers per hour. So, ang kilometer per hour, yung kilometer na yan, yan yung distance, yung hour na yan, yan yung time. Distance divided by time, yan yung speed or rate. So, meron na tayong formula. So, doon tayo mismo sa speed natin. Yung distance natin dito ay 1.5 km. Yung oras natin dito ay 30 minutes. Nasa na yung 30 minutes? Yung 9 a.m. between 8.30 to 9 a.m. Ang difference dyan ay 30 minutes. So, sulat natin yung 30 minutes. Pwede naman gamitin natin yung 30 minutes. Tapos ito ay kilometers per 30 minutes. Now, kung i-convert natin into hour, itong 30 minutes, yung 30 minutes, i-multiply natin yan in such a way na makancel yung minute at hour na lang ang matira. Sa isang oras, mayroon yung 60 minutes. So, pwede na natin i-cancel yan. So, therefore, this is 30 hour over 60. 30 over 60. Ang greatest common factor niyan ay 30. So, ang pinaka-simplest form nito ay 1 half. Otherwise, 30 divided by 60 and this is equal to 0.5 hour. So, pwede na natin yung i-erase. Lagay na natin dito yung 0.5 hour. So, I-divide natin yan siya. 1.5 km divided by 0.5. Huwag na natin isa-isahin yan. Ilang 0.5 ba si 1.5? Tatlo. Therefore, ang speed ay 3 km per hour. So, yan yung speed. Now, doon tayo sa along her way to the office is a grocery store which lo is located 1 km from her house. Ang tanong lang naman, how many minutes? Would Maria spend walking from her house to the grocery store? So, meron tayong distance na 1 km. Ang hinahanap natin dito ay oras. So, yung speed given, tapos yung distance naman ay given. So, kung yan yung given, dilit muna natin to. Di ba, yung speed equals distance over time. Yung time kasi ang hinahanap natin. So, since si time ay pang divide sa distance, kapag matransfer, pang multiply na yan sa speed. So, this will be distance equals speed times time. Ngayon, kailangan yung time lang ay isolate natin kasi time ang hinahanap natin. Since si speed ay pang multiply sa time, pang divide na yan sa distance. Therefore, time equals Distance over speed. Yung time natin ang hinahanap, meron na tayong distance na 1 km. So, 1 km yung distance natin. I-divide natin sa speed na 3 km per hour. Kapag mga ganito yung dalawang km na yan, makancel out na yan. So, ang titira na lang yung hour mismo. Therefore, ang sagot dito, yung time ay... One third hour. Now, paano natin yan i-convert? 
So, i-convert muna natin yan. Yung one-third hour, ay kailangan natin yung i-multiply in such a way na makancel yung R. So, yung nasa taas ay minuto. So, ang isang oras, equivalent niyan ay 60 minutes. So, pwede na natin i-cancel si R. Minuto na lang ang natira. This is multiplication of fraction. Numerator to numerator, this is 60. Denominator to denominator, and this is 3. 60 divided by 3, and this is 20. 20 minutes. So, ito yung solution number 2. Kayo nang bahala kung saan kayo hiyang yung solution number 1 or itong solution number 2 ang gamitin ninyo. Tandaan when it comes to mathematics, never memorize the answers because that will never help you. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.